look at that. There's your little hand. We have to make him do this every birthday. <laughs> That's a great idea. Some of the media I value the most are the experiences that left me with a deeper understanding and appreciation for certain life situations. Things that help me contextualize and come to grips with some of the ugliness in life and see it in a more beautiful or constructive light. Things that adjust my perspective so that I may view light where it seemed there was only darkness. More often than not, I find these experiences in movies. Movies like Waltz with Bashir, If Anything Happens I Love You, The Ice Storm, Waves, or Dear Zachary to name a few. It's rare a video game, or at least a gaming experience, generates the same sort of effect for me. However, Before Your Eyes certainly comes close. This isn't exactly a game in the traditional sense. It falls more in line with the world of interactive cinema, and is perhaps best looked at as an experience. Published by Skybound and developed by Goodbye World Games, this project arrived on Steam on April 8th of 2020, and it was received with overwhelmingly positive reception a response it very much deserves. More than most games, this title, Before Your Eyes, helps inform the player how the journey is to be contextualized, and to an extent, it even relays how you'll be playing. In a single brilliant stroke of creativity, Goodbye World tears down the barrier between player and character, unifying what's normally subconscious player body activity with player character activity, and directly causing the progression of in-game events. As a human controller, however, we do very little. Though you can use the mouse to look around, all manner of progression is tied to your blinks. Which might be a good time to tell you, a webcam is highly recommended if you want to achieve the attended effect. This method of play is thankfully not just a gimmick. See, we play as a character named Benjamin Benny Brin, experiencing our first waking day after death. We awake to find ourselves freshly pulled from the ocean of souls, being carried aboard a sea vessel to the gatekeeper, wherein our entire life will be weighed and our fate decided. Our ferryman will act on our behalf as our orator to tell the gatekeeper of our deeds and why we are such a remarkable individual that we should be granted passage to paradise. To do this, however, he must send us back in time to see and hear the story of our lives re-experienced from our very first memories to our lives. Last. This trip comes with warnings, however. Time works different in the world of recollections. They say that when you die, your entire life flashes before your eyes. They say that when you live, time passes such that it seems in an instant, as if in a blink, the years just soar by. So too do both things ring true in Before Your Eyes. A single blink in the world of memories will send you further ahead in your recollections. The time traveled in a blink could be seconds, or it could be years. It's unpredictable, but through this journey you will see the whole of your life for the consideration of the gatekeeper. Though the blink and you miss it nature of the game can tend to frustrate, albeit with a purpose, blink progression is thankfully not on all the time. You won't be sitting there for 90 minutes with your eyes watering in a ceaseless staring contest against your monitor and the game, though the things you see may have your eyes watering for other reasons. Basically, when this metronome appears at the bottom of the screen is when a blink, errant or deliberate, will send you ahead. Many of these moments contain other on-screen prompts. They things to look at with your mouse and blink at to activate or interact with, decisions to make, patterns to trace with your mouse, etc. Interacting with these things can help buy you time in the memory, as blinking at these will not trigger the metronome's passage of time. Otherwise, there aren't really any other mechanics to this game. This is about the journey and your immersion as a player. Short as this story is, ringing in at under two hours, it's a story that will leave you thinking for long after the credits roll. Using its flash-forward structure, Before Your Eyes highlights just how massive gradual changes in life really are. And while some of it warms the heart, other observable changes feel troublingly relatable. When Benjamin goes back to relive his memories, we really do go back to the beginning, his first memories prior even to his first birthday. The love in the air is obvious at this stage. We flash forward time and time again, 
first birthday, second birthday, his first pet. As time goes on, we see his mom drift away from her hobbies and dreams of being a concert pianist and composer. Her work as an accountant piles up, and the weight of her responsibility becomes more crushing. We see the way parents diverge in their ideals and ideas of how best to raise a child, where one may favor giving a child more freedom to do as he desires, where the other favors a strict routine of learning, free from the distractions of the outside world or fun for fun's sake. Two forces at odds. Two forces gradually affecting each other and their child. A child in his formative years already struggling to discover who he is. As he discovers his cognition, Benny comes to view himself as something of a weird kid, a lonely kid. But he is also a particularly skilled kid, discovering a talent for the piano at a young age, as well as a passion for art. He also comes to discover a quiet place, a peaceful place, in the company of a new neighbor. In this journey through Benny's life, Life, as we look for what made his soul extraordinary enough to be granted passage to paradise, we are tasked with the question time and time again, how are the influences on his life affecting his chances at attaining peace in the afterlife? Are his parents steering him in the right direction? Did he need more positive reinforcement, more freedom, more of a sympathetic ear to listen to him, or a stricter rule to guide his life? What exactly does it mean to be extraordinary? We look at the reality of life as Benny sees it, as Benny wants other to believe it to be, and as others interpret it. And we, the player, in our mind constantly weigh exactly what those accounts mean or measure up to being extraordinary. Is an extraordinary person somebody who accomplished a great, history-changing thing, something that left their name in the textbooks to be read about for generations to come? Or is it simply enough to have changed somebody's life by your very existence? Before Your Eyes is a fantastic character study on the often overlooked convergent point of so many other separate divergent and almost entropic human emotions and relationships, the cause and effect and the internalization. It is a study on evolving lives and evolving families, growing apart and growing together, and what such tugs of war can do to the measure of one's self-worth. Despite being a game that will leave you thinking about it for days, it is not a game that will leave you with questions. Rather, it leaves you with perspective. Before Your Eyes leaves you with perspectives that may help guide you to answers for questions you've likely been carrying around for years, or guide you at least to a deeper understanding and appreciation for why you have those questions to begin with. It blows me away how well everything in this game serves to strengthen its core. The controls create a sense of immersion rarely seen. The soundtrack doesn't aim to wow you, but rather enhance and strengthen the emotional elements of each scene they're used in. And the dialogue, both written and acted, feels so true to life and so familiar that you never stop to question the validity of the life you're experiencing. I absolutely loved Before Your Eyes. Though it could be frustrating at times seeing things go by literally in the blink of an eye before you felt ready to move on, it left me with so much, and I experienced an absolute torrent of wide-ranging emotions in a very short amount of time. If you're okay with movie-length experiences with theater ticket prices, experimental gameplay, and storytelling that has something to say, then there's a good chance you'll like this experience as well. And that's just where I'm gonna leave it today. Anything else, you'll have to find out for yourself. If you guys found this video helpful or useful at all, you know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe, and share the video if you can. Links to all of my socials and the Patreon support page are in the description below. And as always, folks, thanks for watching.